Hey, what's up neighbors? Welcome to the Big Idea Camp's weekly lesson video. I'm Jeremy, your host, and I'm so excited that you're here with us today, this week, as we're going to wrap up this month's lessons on a value that we've been talking about the entire month of March. You know what we've been talking about. We've been talking about this. We've been talking about patience, and we've defined patience as waiting until later for what you want now. And a lot of us We've had some really good discussions over this month about questioning what are the things that we're waiting for in life? What are the things that we're excited for? And a lot of the conversation has gone back to our uh, thought process about maybe spring break coming up or maybe summer vacation coming up. And anytime we think about a vacation or a trip, we think about the phrase, are we there yet? And we say, are we there yet? Because we're going from one place to another. And we always want to be there instead of here. But there's a process to get from here to there. And that's the journey. And I want to make sure that we talk about this. We don't want to miss the journey in life. We don't want to just get there. And sometimes we don't just want to stay here, but we want to be on the way. So patience, waiting until, waiting until later for what you want now, that has a lot to do with getting from here to there. And we talked about this month, and I'm not a huge fan of this, but there's always like a, an animal or an insect or something that, uh, I don't know, kind of describes or looks like the value that we've been learning. And this month we have been talking about this silk spider because it is very patient as the prey, the enemy gets into its web it just creeps and it waits and then it attacks and then it eats it and that's just gross on so many levels I'm not a huge fan of spiders i don't like them but that's okay so what are you being patient for now what are you waiting on and is it worth it i think that's a great question to ask is what you're waiting for is it worth it is it something that'll make life better is it something that makes you better is it something that helps you grow Maybe you're practicing really hard every day now to become something incredible, and I hope that's true. I tell you what, let's learn a little bit more about patience with this week's lesson video. When Ashley said she was coming home as a surprise for Dad's birthday, I was excited. Then she said we were going to make a cake together and it got even better. She's so good at decorating. She taught me a lot. But then the hard part came. We had to wait for dad to get home. And wait, and wait. I got so hungry. That cake looked so delicious. I knew I could probably take one finger full of icing and maybe no one would notice. It was so hard to wait, but I'm glad I did. That's neat. Some things are just worth waiting for, and some things are beautiful when you wait for them. So definitely want to encourage you guys to always wait for the things that are important. Let's look at this week's worksheet together. Fourth week, man, this is the last week of March. We're going to do a whole new value next week. I'm excited about it. But it says, again, patience. Wait until later for what you want now. I hope that you know that. hope that you've said that over and over. hope that you've memorized that because it's important to know that definition of patience. It says right here, it says, touch your ear to your shoulder, then relax. It says, do it again to the other side. Touch your ear to your shoulder. That is relaxing. If you do that a few times, it can help you kind of mellow out, chill out, be patient about things. Be it. Tell one person how you were patient today. What's something you waited on? Maybe you sat in class and you listened and you learned and you waited and you absorbed it, and now you can help others with it. 
How can you be patient with someone younger than you? This is a challenge for our older brothers and our older sisters. That might be you and you have this younger brother or sister. I know for my oldest son, Carson, he, he has a younger brother, Dylan, and Dylan wants to do everything that Carson does. And sometimes it's cute, but sometimes I know it's aggravating. And so Carson has to slow down a lot. He has to help Dylan learn how to do things, learn new games, share his toys, um, include Dylan. Because, I mean, Carson's an incredible brother. He includes Dylan in a lot of things. How can you be patient with somebody younger than you? Maybe you have to teach them something. And sometimes that requires slowing down, being patient, right? Waiting for later for something you want. Now, like, we'll get back to the great stuff, but let me help someone learn it. That's a great, great quality. Write the word patience as slowly as you can. How slow can you write that word? That's interesting. And then how do you feel today? You know that's important to me. And I like to be patient with this because we do it every week. I want you to be patient with yourself. Can you give yourself the time to slow down and think about how you feel today? Because I think that's incredibly important to know like, okay, yeah, I feel happy today. Yeah, this is a good day. I dig that. Or maybe it's like, you know what? Today started off so sour. I'm aggravated. I'm just, uh It's not wrong. That's not a wrong answer. And it's not wrong. It's not bad to feel that way. You listen to me say that again. There are no bad feelings. I just want you to act it out accordingly. If you know that you feel bad, if you can admit it like, man, I'm grumpy, I'm just like, boom, I'm a, I'm a firecracker today. Your ability to admit that, your ability to understand how you feel is also your number one resource to changing it. Anything that's mentionable is manageable. That's what my hero always said. So are you happy? Are you tired? Are you angry? Are you sad? Are you sick? Are you frustrated? Are you annoyed? Are you calm? Are you scared? Are you worried? Are you proud? Or is there another feeling that you feel today? Write it in. Either way, whatever feeling that you feel, it's yours. And that makes it yours, and that's a good thing because you can feel those feelings. I don't want you to stay in that feeling, though, especially if you're sad or worried or angry or scared or frustrated. Again, it's okay to be there. I just think it's healthier that we move. Well, guys, uh, wow, fun day so far. Um, that, again, there's my hero, Mr. Rogers, and he would say this, whatever is mentionable is manageable. So take those feelings, process it inside, and let's see if we can make it into something good for ourselves and for others. Hey, I want you to know, uh, you're not alone in this, um, this world. I know a lot of us are getting back to school, and I love that. If you're getting some uh, homework assignments, some some questions, some problems, some assignments, some, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever subject that's giving you a headache, I want you to know you can email us, thebigideacamp at gmail.com, and we are going to do our absolute best to connect you with an educator that cares about you, uh, that wants to make sure you do your best every day. So let us help you with your homework. That would be awesome. Guys, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of who you are. I'm so proud of who you're becoming. Uh, this year, it's not been like anything I've ever known. It's been an anomaly. And that's a unique word. It's been something not normal. This, for the last 12 months, since last March, we have been impacted by this coronavirus. Things have shut down. Doors have closed. Schools have closed. You've been learning from home. I just want you to know how proud I am of you for being strong, for being able to adapt, to change, to being able to accept what is going on and still do your very best. I'm so proud of you for that. And I don't know what the next few months look like, how we get back to what was normal, if we ever get back to normal, or if we make a new normal, whatever the case is. I know with people like you, it's going to be a good place to be. So let me tell you, I'm proud of you, and I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about our future together. Have a great week. We'll see you next week with a brand new value. It's going to be exciting. So come back in April. Let's learn together. See you next week.